matinee baseball on tap for you on MLB Network coming your way from historic Fenway Park in Boston. Lots of pink all around for this Mother's Day matchup between the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox. Number 78 looks to push his all-time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. What's the play ball? You're out. out. He's out. out. At the plate, number 78, Batting already third. holding the all-time right history field. record. He continues number to carve out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be Atta something boy, that other players that. chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, d -Row, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as the when this streak base started base. to start it right. off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down. because. And the third baseman is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. An inning in the books, scoreless on MLB Network. Striding into the box, Ronnie Rodriguez. He drove in all three of his club's runs Ronnie. in that ball game a night ago. The windup and the 0-1. In the air, out to right. Number 78 is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first out. Digging in, Harold Castro. He flew out in his last at bat. Harold Castro. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Right side, hit hard. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Sometimes you need a little luck, sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes, and that's exactly what happened right there. Now in the, the box, field, Kevin field. Vincent. He yeah, got on yeah. top of one and was a ground Vincent. out victim last time. Hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One left for Detroit. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Back here now as the Red Sox are ready to bat in the third inning and as they do it's worth mentioning that their lineup has been one of the best in baseball this year. In fact with the highest team batting average on base percentage and slugging percentage in all of Major League Baseball it's probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense in the sport these days. As one player told me earlier yeah I mean you don't have to dig too deep into the stats to understand the level we're playing at. We have a special. At the plate, number 78, as the switch hitter will take his cuts right left-handed here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cordero on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So the lineup flips over and now digging back. in Harold Second Castro. Base. He singled Harold his last time up. Castro. Now the one and one pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next up for the Red the Sox, back. number 78, number one for two on his line so far in the game.
first pitch on its way. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Oh, wow, that's what they call a jam sandwich. Wow, not much you can do with that pitch nope, that's, that's in tight. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's 1-2. and two. Well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Coming to the plate now, number 78. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Really doesn't matter what side the plate of this guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well, swinging left-handed, and swinging from the right side against lefties. The numbers are quite the same. This guy flat out can hit from either side. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. A two run blast to straight away right field as it's now a 3 2 ball game. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those. Digging in and looking for more. Number 78. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Runners on the move for second. A pitch out. The throw. And the throw pulls him off the bag. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come. And his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. One and one pitch. Fastball well outside. Here's the two two pitch. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Now the three and two pitch, and it's fouled away. Now a swing and a fly ball. Should be enough to get the job done. And it's off the green monster. And they're going to walk him up with a 4-3 victory. Well, that at bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish. Well, everyone was treated to a really well-played ball game in this one, and the guy you see there turned in a particularly notable performance, so he's our tops player of the game in this one. Yeah, no question. He was a tough out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks, including a home run, so without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story.
A one-run finish, 4-3 to three, the final tally today. The Boston Red Sox get their division-leading 30th win of the year. Richard Kondo claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next.